Hey, what's up everyone? Flash from Flash Hobbies here. Um, so I wanted to do a, basically an introductory video to this truck here. Uh, this is a TRX4 chase truck that I've been working on for off and on for some time now. Uh, it was originally just a crawler, but then I kind of got a little bored of it and I wanted to do something new. So um, this is what I've been working on for a little bit. Uh, this is a slash two wheel drive uh, Ford Raptor body and I fit it on to the TRX4 platform. Uh, I did extend the the wheelbase just a little bit. I think it's still off just by a little bit, but I think that's more my fault. I don't think I drilled the holes correctly. So that's that's kind of a bumper, a bumper, a bummer, because I was trying to get the holes to line up, but because of this hard plastic piece, I didn't want to make holes in it. So the main reason why I wanted to do this truck was I actually ordered a uh, Sword Graphics vinyl wrap, and I didn't order it from Sword directly. I ordered it from Horizon Hobbies and they sent me the wrong one. So that's why you can see gloss and then matte because it was supposed to be originally cover the whole thing. So um, I kind of made do with what I had and I think overall it doesn't look too bad. I kind of like the gloss and matte look. So so uh, the inspiration for doing the chase truck was because I have this truck as well. So this is the actual Yeti score and I got the optional Ford Raptor uh, F-150 body and I did the sword graphics wrap on it and this one worked pretty good all throughout and again I still have the gloss here for the wheel wheels I like the way that looks yeah, I think it came out really nice but like I said this is a work in progress um, a lot of work has actually gone into this yeah uh, if you if, believe it or not but uh, let me just show you a little bit here so taking off the lid as you can see here there's, there's a lot of wiring and the reasoning why is because um, I actually drilled holes in here. So these three are functional auxiliary lights, the LED light bar on top. There's LED lights here in the bed that shine in. And um, I've been trying to figure out how to cover this the best I could. I made these, um, these cabinets that go in the back of the truck. And they're basically, they're just hot glued in. So honestly, I don't I don't see them staying on very long. So I need to figure out a, an, an alternative. So if you have an alternative, you know, feel free to leave it down in the comments. But um, yeah, I, I really just haven't been able to find anything that I like. Because the, the bottom of this is hollow. And I actually made these, uh, the, the back part out of cardboard. Um, you have your faux uh, extinguishers. You have sand rails or sand bridges or whatever you want to call them. I have... Uh, gas tank jerry cans back here there's a toolbox tow rope uh, antenna for communication and then of course i have the spare wheels that you easy access to so um i guess filming wise it's gonna look you're gonna see this sometimes so i'm trying to find some more scale accessories and i think i'm gonna just 3d print some or order some and put them in the rear so it kind of covers up that back part i 3d printed a uh, exhaust for it looks pretty good I uh, just uh, I printed it in black and then just colored it in with a silver sharpie. The wheels themselves, they're weighted OMF um, beadlock wheels, and these are the Baja Claw from RC Four Wheel Drive, and I believe these are 1.9s. Pretty sure they are, uh, but they have they have a pretty mean pattern, and I think they it's a real aggressive look for this truck. Um, I think you could this is something you might find on the actual chase truck so what's powering this is a actually an, a stock axial 27 turn system I have a BEC installed and like I said it's just it's a lot of wiring there's a lot of lights that go into this and I also have uh, the, the wheel well lights or I guess they call them rock crawler lights as, as you call them but I stiffened up the suspension a little bit I do have brass in the front most of the front is brass just because i kind of like the the weight up front there's brass on the bottom of each of the, the shocks and like i said all the wheels they have weights on the inside of the beadlock so that's that's pretty nice so this this is a very very uh beefy heavy truck so i just plugged up a quick battery on here um just so you can see i have uh, two red lights in the rear i have two white lights up here I have lights in the rear uh, there's there's lights on the inside that shine to the back. We have the LED light bar and our three auxiliary lights. Well, anyways, guys, this is what the truck looks like at night. Uh, let me know what you think of the truck so far. Maybe you have some suggestions on how I can make it a little bit better. Uh, maybe a little bit more realistic. I know I can probably spray the inside so that you can't see the lights, but I still kind of like the way they look. 
But uh, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I'm still going to continue to work on it. There's a couple of things I want to fix, like the bumper and stuff like that. But uh, you'll see that on future videos. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe with notifications, and we'll see you on the next video.